Hello YouTube. So today I want to share my story about how I started freelancing as a web designer slash web developer. And I hope that this video can give confidence to someone. Either that someone could be a freelancer that needs motivation to stick to freelancing or it could be someone unemployed or currently employed as a web designer or web developer for a company but that wants to start their own business and wants to start flying on their own. So maybe that someone is you. So first of all, there's a big difference in my opinion between getting hired as a web designer, web developer. And if you want more info about how I became a web developer in just a few months, more on that later in this video. But yeah, like I was saying, to me, there's a big difference between getting hired as a web professional and actually starting your own business and making a living but working for yourself. So to start my story, I need to go way back in time when I was working as a flight attendant for an airline. And I know I've done many jobs. I've already covered that here on the channel. But basically, I was working as a flight attendant. And one day, one of my colleagues told me, okay, we got a few days off. Let's just go to this tropical island. I know many people there. You're gonna see it's fun, yada, yada, yada. I had never been to a tropical island and you know working for an airline it was pretty cheap for us to go there so i pay like 80 bucks for a round trip i mean the plane ticket so we went there for a few days and cut a long story short i absolutely loved the place i think i went back like three times in less than a year absolutely loved it and you know i decided one day i want to live here but i was still very 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 young and i thought okay i need to uh, have some experience because the island was really tiny so i was like i will come back here later but then years passed and fast forward a few years i was still working for that same airline and managed to get hired in the web department so that was going great it was like my dream job and i was really happy but then we were purchased by a bigger airline and at the time you know, I thought I was going to be fired because there was already someone that had my job in the bigger airline. So I went to do something else for <laughs> a couple of years. But then eventually I came back to the bigger airline and I was still working in the web department. It was kind of a great job because I used to travel, uh, you know, like once a month uh, while still doing web design stuff and uh, digital marketing stuff. So it was kind of the dream job also. But for some reason, I didn't really feel happy. I didn't know what it was professionally also on a personal note things were not going so well so i was kind of slowly but surely feeling depressed but i had this thing in me that i wanted to start my own business so i kept talking to my colleagues and telling them yeah i want to start my own business i want to create my own web design studio but i kept talking and that was for a simple reason i had so much fear about starting my own business and just leaving the comfort of my monthly salary and maybe you're the same but for me yeah, I couldn't see myself. I, I couldn't envision how I could leave something so stable and start my own business. And I have to mention that back then, the entrepreneurship hype wasn't a thing yet. So it was kind of something I wanted to do, but I was really frightened and I didn't really know any people that had started their own business. So I didn't know better. So what happened was I kept procrastinating and pushing things to the next day just because I was so frightened to start my own business. So all in all, I kept working for the company, but I felt worse and worse. And one day I really felt like enough is enough. So I decided to sell everything, sold my apartment, and I decided with my then wife and our two kids, well, the my daughters were really small. So me and my ex-wife as i may have hinted we divorced since but me and my ex-wife we, de we decided okay let's move there and we did but that happened 11 years after i first set foot on this island and basically around six years after i decided yeah one day i want to be my own boss you know like i said i kept procrastinating so the thing is we finally set foot on the on the island but it's a tiny island uh, tropical island in the indian ocean close to Mauritius and less than 1 million inhabitants so the employment perspective were really really that tiny so basically i had no choice i had to start my own business uh, luckily for me it was kind of easier than where i came from to start a business so i could start really fast and here i'm talking about the administrative side of things so i started the business basically it was not not a sole proprietorship but something in between a sole proprietorship and in a, in a regular business but the thing is i had no clients and we had just money to hold for a few months but then we had 
two ki- two kids to put to school and you know our own expenses and i had a lot of time on my hands so i decided to start learning how to rank a website so i started learning some seo skills and the good side of being on a small island is that it was way easier to rank <laughs> because it's a it's a small place than if you're in new york or london or you know any major urban city so very quickly i ranked so i was always like in the first one to three spots um, for the keywords i was targeting basically it was like uh, i can't remember something like web design or i think i even did like cheap web design you know because i didn't know better so very quickly i well very quickly no let's say within a month i got my first client and basically this client had a business kind of uh, the ancestor of uber <laughs> but uh, um i mean the uber eat not uber uber eat but at a very uh small scale and manual level so basically what he did was in just one city on the island he would provide the service of delivering the food from like 10 to 15 restaurants so it was just in that city and it was just him and a couple of uh, drivers. But what happened was one of his clients, she was a TV presenter. She saw the website, she liked the website. So she contacted me because I had put um, the name of my website in the footer and website made by you know, my business name. So eventually she became a client and because she was famous, I got some more clients. And then the, you know, the rest is history. I uh, started having some business. It was not great because I was quoting really cheap because I didn't know better, but still it was my first experience. I could make a living. I could pay the bills, you know, even if we were tied on money, but at least it was something. It was a beginning and I really felt empowered and I could see, okay, this thing is going to work. But then as I hinted on a personal note, things weren't that great. So, um, I divorced and that was a, you know, very weird moment for some of you that can relate. You don't necessarily feel good. Um, even professionally so at that time the best thing for me to do was to actually go and look for a stable job you know I needed it because I also wanted to see my kids so but for many reasons I thought okay this is something I have to do now so I went and applied and I applied for an advertising agency and I got the job so it was a good agency uh, that had been there for quite a while they had big clients so I learned many many things and you know I got so much experience working in that place i started working with big names like mcdonald's uh, bnp so the bnp bank uh work with the land rover uh, kia um alfa romeo fiat many big brands and it was great it was a great experience for me because i learned so much i really went from working for one airline or two airlines in the web department to actually working with a lot of different clients different projects and learning digital marketing there on the field even though i knew a lot about it but now i really had to uh, work on real campaigns so i learned so much and i'm really thankful for that but now the thing is this company this advertising agency was there was a main mother company and then some satellite companies and they decided to completely uh, wipe out the company i was working for so i found myself unemployed so it was it was really tough so i went back to freelancing and eventually that advertising agency started outsourcing the creation of websites to me so life was starting to look better again and basically at one point it was my only client but then you can imagine what happened that's the first takeaway probably from this video is that don't have just one client because when they went bankrupt because what happened was it was a very good agency but at one point there were three owners and two of the owners decided to basically leave the island and move to other places on earth and they sold their shares to the third owner and the third owner had many qualities but he was not a good manager so he managed to bankrupt the company within six months so basically my main and only client was just (laughs) not there anymore so i find myself again in a situation where i was like man this is getting tough so i thought do i go and look for um a job you know as an employee but at the same time you know i had a lot of experience and you know what happened when you age and you get a a lot of experience you know businesses say okay you would cost too much and at the same time i felt like even if i managed to to find a senior position a senior well-paid position well, they could go bankrupt a year later and then the story would repeat itself again and again. So I decided enough is enough. I really need to figure out this thing. And that's when my former supervisor from the agency with which I had become friend and he had left the company long before he went 
uh, bankrupt and everything. So we were friends and he invited me in a business networking group. And that's why on this channel, I always advise to go to those business networking groups and you understand why. So when he invited me, I was in a really bad spot financially. But, you know, I made a leap of faith and I decided, okay, let me join this group. You know, I had to pay, you know, you have to pay yearly. And for me, it was quite a large amount at the moment because, you know, I was out of a job. I didn't have much money left. I had no clients. I had basically to start from scratch. But then something magical happened is that within those business networking groups, what happens is people are going to refer you to their network. So... If I go back in time when I just landed on the island and started my SEO stuff and I was really well ranked, I had a lot of leads, but many of those leads were cheap leads because, you know, my keywords were cheap web design. I didn't know better, but I had a lot of cheap clients that really want to pay the minimum amount possible, but I wanted like everything. And when I started working with leads from business networking groups, it was the opposite. Basically, I didn't have many leads, but they were in total trust because someone said, hey, you can trust this guy for anything website related, digital marketing, you can trust this guy. So even though I had less leads, well, in return, I closed more deals and those clients were paying higher than the clients I had before. So the second takeaway from this video is don't get too comfortable because if you get too comfortable, nothing's going to happen. If I had remained in Europe, I'd probably still be working for this airline and I would probably still feel miserable just because the place itself it's raining all the time. You never see a blue sky or maybe 10 days per year. And I know for some people, it's not a problem but for me. I had enough. I, you know, I, I need to see blue skies. I need to feel the heat. I need to see the mountain. I need to see the beach. I need that. So you need to figure out what you want. If you love rain, if you love snow, then it's not an issue, but you need to find what you love. So that's what I wanted to take away because when I moved here, I was not comfortable at all. I had no choice. I had to make money. So I really learned the fast way. So I managed to achieve in three to six months what I've had been talking about for six years. Can you imagine that? And that's the third takeaway lesson from this video. Don't wait because you're never going to get those years back. Trust me. And I'm lucky enough that this happened to me while still being young. You know, some people may realize that way later in life. But even if you are way later in life, don't be sad because at least you've done it. Some people will never do it. That's the truth. Most people, they would talk about starting their own business but they will never do it so even if you do that really late at least you've done it so i really want to encourage you whether you are already a freelancer maybe you're thinking about abandoning let me tell you there's nothing wrong with just going back get a job just to get yourself back together financially but then you can come back with a better mentality but never abandon if that's your dream and if you're the other type of person maybe you're unemployed or maybe you are already hired as a web designer, but you just want to start working for yourself. This is just my testimony that it can totally happen. If I could do it with a family then, because let me remind you, I was married, I had two kids and moved to a tropical island, basically 10,000 kilometers away from Europe. So basically when I landed here, I had no family, no financial help, no nothing, right to nothing. So if I could do it, you can do it. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want to know how I became a web developer slash designer in just a few months, make sure you click on the video that will be appearing on the end screen. Cut.